I really like drawing in isometric graph paper. Isometric graph paper consists of a hexagonal grid that allows you to draw shapes in a perspective where three sides are visible. It also allows you to draw some impossible shapes. To create the grid, I use a function where I give it the middle dot position and then create six dots in a hexagon pattern around it. Then I create six dots around those dots and repeat that as many times as the degrees I ask of my function. I calculate the positions based on the same math as how I draw circles and regular polygons, which you can find linked in the description. To avoid drawing the same point several times, I make sure that the new position does not have a dot already before placing it. For this to work properly, I had to round the positions to two decimals since some points were not being registered as repeated due to small differences, most likely a result of not working with infinite decimals of pi in my math. To place each point, I use game objects instantiate method to create a new game object at desired position from my dot prefab. Each of these dots has a 2D circle collider and a point script. Fun fact! Fun fact, if the circle diameter is equal to the distance between points, you get the densest circle packing solution, which means the arrangement of similar sized circles in the least area possible. Fun fact! If the radius is equal to the distance between points, you get the flower of life pattern. In my point script, Thanks to the circle colliders, I can detect my mouse and use mono behaviors on mouse messages to run code when my mouse clicks, enters, or unclicks these points. These methods tell my touch draw method whether to start, update, or finish drawing a line. Each line right now consists only of two points, the beginning and the end, and is being drawn from a line prefab. I made a singleton of my touch draw method to allow for static methods to be called while also using non-static variables such as my line prefab. I suspect there's a better, neater way to go about this. One weird thing I noticed was that my onMouseUp method was being called from the point that was initially clicked and not from the point where my mouse was released. Now I can draw on my grid. It's not as good as I wish yet, but it's a good prototype to build on. You made it to the end.